Before the video starts, I wanna let you guys know that today's video is going to be sponsored by Grid Studio. As some of you may know, I love working on old electronics. Whenever I find an old console at a garage sale, I try my best to fix it up so it could still be used. Stuff like that interests me, and working on motherboards is actually really therapeutic to me. Grid Studio is a company that specializes in wall art, specifically electronics. They scout out the market looking for old electronics that are not in use anymore. They clean them up really nicely, they dissect them, and then they display them in a nice wooden frame. Grid Studio sent me the original Game Boy frame since I've spent a ton of time fixing those up. Every time that I find those, I almost always have to put a new speaker in them. It came beautifully packaged, as you can see, and it displays super nicely on a wall. Take a look on my wall, it is in my office, it looks amazing. They also sent me a coupon code for my fans, so if you want to try out Grid Studio, you can get 10% off a purchase of $100 using code CRISKY in all caps. I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can check out their website. You can browse around and you can see if there's anything that catches your eye. They have phones, they have Sega stuff, they have Nintendo stuff, they have a ton of frames that you can choose from. Thank you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed today's video. What is going on guys? So today I am meeting up somebody who is selling me a big box of video game stuff. There is consoles, there is games, there is a VR set for the PlayStation 4. There is, I think, even Beats headphones. There's also Pokemon cards, and there is a whole bunch of other stuff in this box. He said that everything belonged to his kids and they no longer want it. He asked them if he could sell everything on Facebook Marketplace and they said yes. So he reached out to me and we ended up on a price of $240 for everything. So currently I am on my way right now to go meet him up and I'm going to buy everything that he has for $240. What's going on? You How David? You I'm Dave. How's it going, Chris? Good. Nice car. Thanks. <laughs> I like your truck. Thanks. All right, so here are these. These are all your kids stuff? Yeah. They didn't want it anymore? Well, they're into computer games now. Okay. Yeah. And then if they do play uh, Xbox, and it's all online. They they each still, my son has a PS4. That's what you were saying, right? Yeah. And the other one has an Xbox. Cool. Here's some, here's some of the games. Are they all in the case, do you know? Yeah, or? Cool. cool. Yeah, there's no other cases. And here's the VR. Did they use this much at all or? Yeah, but then he upgraded to the other one. Um, the Oculus? Yep, yep, exactly. So he used that a little bit, but then, like I said, then he upgraded to the Oculus one. Right? Yeah. Okay. And there are some cords in here. Um, I think the VR, I kept everything, so. Okay. But there's some more games and Pokemon cards right there. Yeah, you said there was some Pokemon in here? Yeah. You don't want the Guitar Hero, though? Uh, I can take a look at it. I know there's a little small... This one I've never even used. It's, uh... It's wrapped up. Yeah, bought off of Amazon, I think. Cool. Yeah, so for that one, I think there's supposed to be a wireless. You're right. I don't even know what it would look like. It's like, like a little USB drive. Really? Yeah. I can look for it. I mean, I can just end up buying one. That's, that's okay. fine. He never liked, when he was playing guitar here, he never liked the wireless ones anyways. Oh, okay. Because it got too slow when the battery yeah. go down. Yeah, the latency. Yeah. yeah. But you don't want the, the Jedi for the VR? Oh, maybe it's not even VR. I'm just not a big Star Wars fan, so if you didn't want to include that and sell that off on your own, that's totally fine. Okay. Is that for VR? Uh, looks like it. I don't even think you... oh, it's, oh, it's his own VR set. It's just like a mask and stuff? Yeah. I don't think you ever played it. I think it's just a mask you put over the VR set. I think it's like, a, so instead of the controller, you'd have that as your controller. I think you put the controller in there. And then this, I think you just put it over your VR set. So it just looks like you're a Star Wars character instead of, I have no idea. I don't know either. I don't know. 
But you know what? I'll sell it all. I mean, I would throw it in for an extra 50. Okay. No, that's fine then. Yeah. Totally fine. I mean, if you're having, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know, you know, especially like these, like I know we went through these like crazy. Yeah, they like, always break. <coughs> they'd always get the, what, red ring of death. Oh, or yeah. If the motherboard overheats. Yeah. Right, right. You can oh, count it. Hey, cash, thank you. Anymore, so I mean, I'm just like going through boxes underneath their their beds and stuff. I told them, you know, you're just gonna sell everything off. You told well, them. you know, I, I told everyone, my my wife and my kids. I said this was a couple months ago. I said, look, anything that we haven't used in two years, let's get rid of. Yeah. And um, I mean, it's just it's crazy. Like I have stuff in my garage. I have they're still brand new. in town huh oh, what do you mean you said there was a parade for the yeah yeah Patrick's the, Day yeah there's some crazy traffic going on it's for st patrick's day right off of oak park avenue okay and i was trying to get to durbin's and there was like a 200 car line and i was like i'm just gonna go left and then we can meet somewhere else because yeah, okay. it, it sucks well i'll see what else i got okay okay I'll yeah let, you know. so let me know if you any more stuff okay like video games or any other stuff that your kids want to sell or anything like that i know he had yeah, I'm a collector of those, so. Yeah. You're not a collector of baseball cards, are you? Unfortunately, no. Not a big sports card. Okay. Yeah, I'll look around. If I find anything else, I'll, I'll hit you up. Cool, thanks. Right, cool, thank you. Take it easy, Dave. Yeah, thank you. Okay, guys, so I just got home. On the way home, I got a much needed haircut, as you can see. And I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. And I paid $240 for everything. Okay, so right off the bat, we got this Guitar Hero 2 controller. This is an Explorer for the Xbox 360. As you can see, it is all bundled up with saran wrap, and it has everything you need. It has the little dongle, it has a strap, and it's in really good condition. It also has the game with it, Guitar Hero 2. If you take a look, there's actually a barcode on it. This is an Amazon barcode, I think. He said he bought this from Amazon, and it was never used. These sell upwards of $120 for a bundle like this, and it's already ready to go. It is pre-wrapped, pre and it has everything it needs. I think $120 would be a fair asking price for this. It is in good condition, and that is just one of the Guitar Hero controllers. Here is the other Guitar Hero controller for the Xbox 360. It is also an Explorer. As you can see, it's in pretty decent condition as well. It is missing the breakaway little adapter, so I'm gonna have to find one of those to sell this. But these sell for about 80 bucks, so if you guys ever see these, make sure you pick them up. This is the last Guitar Hero controller. This one's in good condition as well, it's just a little dusty. It is missing the dongle, unfortunately. There is no corrosion in the battery compartment, so that's good. Unfortunately, the dongle is the thing that sells for the most money, so I'm gonna have to buy one of those or sell this one as is with no dongle. And I think they only sell for like 20 or $30 without the dongle. So I might just keep this around. If I end up finding a dongle, I will sell them both. Here is four of the consoles that were not in any box. I think there is some more consoles in that box. I think I saw a PlayStation 2 and even a Switch. So I am super excited to look through the other box, but here is the four consoles that he also had. They're all Xboxes. Here is an original Xbox 360. As you can see, it is not the model you wanna find. This is not the port you wanna see. You wanna look for the HDMI port on the back of these. This one probably has the red ring of death. And I think they sell for like 20 or $30 in working condition. But I have a ton of Xbox 360 games that I can bundle with this and then just sell it as a lot. Here is another Xbox 360. This is an Xbox 360 Slim. These sell for a little bit more money. As you can see, this is actually a GameStop refurbished. So it probably actually works. At least somebody was in here before and cleaned everything up. Um, I don't know if this works. I do have to test every single one of these consoles because the guy said he doesn't know if any of this stuff works. But if this was in working condition, I think I can sell it for a little bit of money. The last two Xboxes we have are Xbox Ones. This is an Xbox One S. I sell these a lot. They go for about a hundred bucks. And if this one works, 
bed would be really good because these sell really quickly. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. I'm excited to see if any of these consoles have games inside and if we can make a come up from games left inside it's always exciting but yeah this one probably would sell with the power cord for a hundred bucks and that's without controllers last up we got this original xbox one and i think these sell for about 80 bucks with no controllers but these are less likely to work so i have to test this out and see if it works but i am excited to see if there is any game inside this one next up we have a vr set for the playstation 4 and it has the processor unit as well which is really nice to see because usually when you find these they don't have the processor unit everything looks like it's in good condition he said he barely used it because he switched over to the oculus quest 2 and it's really hard to break these so i'm sure it works i also have the gun and I think these usually sell for about $140 bundled up and they usually are quick sellers so I'm probably going to ask about $140 for these and I'm pretty sure there's the motion controls in another box so I would just lot everything up. Okay so here is the last two boxes. This is a bigger box and then there's these box of games right here. I totally forgot he said there was some Pokemon cards in here because his son used to collect a long time ago and I could see some cards at the bottom of this box. Let me show you guys. You probably can't see that, but I see one card at the bottom of the box. I don't know how many are in here, and I don't know if they're sleeved up or anything like that, or what the condition is, but I am super excited to check those out. Let's get through these games first. He said that all of them are in the case. I don't know how true that is. We got Back to the Future, the game pretty sure that is like a $30 game so that is really nice I will put the sold listings on the screen if the game is worth more than $15 I'm not totally sure on how much a lot of these games are but I am sure we got our value worth because there is a ton of games in here No game in here. Black Ops 2. That's actually Advanced Warfare. Here's Advanced Warfare. So we got two copies of Advanced Warfare, I guess. Oh, one's for Xbox One and then one's for the PlayStation 4. Here's Skyrim or The Elder Scrolls. We got Flash, the first season. It's a Blu-ray disc. We got COD 3 for the Xbox One. Guitar Hero Van Halen. This is an expensive game. Especially ever since Eddie Van Halen passed away. Rest in peace. He was a great guitarist. This game, I can't imagine it was only $6 at one point. But if you take a look at a lot of the GameCube games, they were like... 10 bucks for a hundred dollar game now so this is a really good game and i'm pretty sure it's really expensive we got farpoint farming simulator duck dynasty we got rigs UK 16 Madden 16 and then we got Star Wars Battlefront for the Xbox one okay here is the last box this has the Pokemon cards this has the headphones this has a ps2 slim and I think a Nintendo switch as well as a bunch of other games so let's get into this we got Eagle flight We got Fallout 4, we got a PS2 game, Ben 10, Protector of Earth, no manual on that one, Drive Club VR, Trek 
Transformers the game. I think that game is a little bit of money. NBA 2K13. No disc in that one. We got Captain America. This is an expensive game, I'm pretty sure. That is nice to see. That is complete. There's a bunch of loose discs in here. We got baseball game, FIFA, Halo 3, 2K7, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, an Ice Age DVD, All-Star Karate for the Wii, Masters Historic Edition, Tiger Woods, golf game, Ben 10 Omniverse 2 for the Wii, we got Pokemon Battle Revolution, that is a nice game. Unfortunately, there is no case, but that game sells for, I think, $20. And then we got Resident Evil Biohazard. I actually have an empty case lying around, so now I have a complete in-box copy, which is really nice. Being a reseller, you just have a bunch of stuff lying around, and then you kind of piece it together from lots, and that's how you sell stuff. So, yeah, that's really cool that I found those. Okay, so I've never sold Beats headphones. This is a Beats case. I don't know how much these sell for, so they all have to get looked up. I don't even know the models. I have to look at them. These are wireless studio beats. They are black. The condition's pretty good. There's a little bit of scuffing. They look like they were dropped. The earphones are kind of all wrinkly from just sitting in a box. But overall, they look like they're in good condition. I just have to test them out. I will put how much they're worth on the screen. Next up, we have these Little Beats. These are Solo HDs. And the earpieces on these are a lot more deteriorated, but they look like they're in pretty good condition. These are Beats Studios. It's missing a screw right here. But the earpieces look like they're in good condition, and it has the wire. Yeah, these are pretty decent, I guess. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put how much they're worth on the screen. We have a PlayStation 2 Slim. This is a 90,001 model. Let's see if there's a game in here. Yes, there is. Bratz Girls Rock. I don't know how much this game is worth, but it would be really funny if this was like a rare PlayStation 2 game that was worth a whole lot of money. But I always love finding games and systems. When you, when you guys buy secondhand consoles, always look if there's a game inside. It is literally like a fun surprise. Here's a Switch dock. Hopefully it works. And like I was telling you guys, there is a Switch in here. I don't think there's any Joy-Cons, but that is incredible. That is amazing to see. I'm gonna test this to see if it works. Let's see if there's a game in here. Yes, there is. Let's see what game it is. What do we have? We got Zelda Breath of the Wild. That is amazing. That's like a $40 game loose, so amazing. I think just the screen sells for a lot of money. That is incredible. Hopefully there's some Joy-Cons in here too, but wow, we have this and we have a charging dock. We got some Switch accessories. We have an Xbox 360 controller. We have another Xbox 360 controller. We have a fake PS4 controller. Definitely fake. This is motion controls for the VR for the PlayStation 4. I will lock those up with the VR set. We got a PlayStation 2 controller, which we can lock up with our PlayStation 2, which is really nice. And we have some connections for the PlayStation 2. We are getting to the bottom of this box. There is some scattered Pokemon cards on the bottom of the box. We have a Joy-Con. And unfortunately, there is only one in the box. So we have one Joy-Con for our Nintendo Switch, which is unfortunate. But we have a charging dock for it which I guess makes up for it. I'm gonna sell it as is, make sure this works, and then I'm gonna sell 
the game separate as well. Yeah, I don't know what this charger is for. You guys can let me know. But there's a type C connection. Probably goes to the Xbox One. This is also an HDMI for the Xbox One. Uh, no power cable for the Xbox One, but there is some HDMI cables in here. Nothing special though. Okay, so here is the Pokemon cards. So far, they look old. There is, right off the bat, a holographic. We got a Pidgeot from Jungle. That is really cool. Hopefully there's some more holographics in here. I am super excited to look through here. I totally forgot that he said there was some Pokemon cards in here. And luckily they look old, so let's take a look at these. Okay, so I got them all from the bottom of the box. That is everything left of the box. Here is another holographic from Fossil. We got Kabutops. Okay, so these look all old, which is nice. That is exciting. We got an Electrode. That is really nice. Again, we got one from Jungle. Holographic Electrode. Let's see what else we got in here. This is super exciting. He said there was more Pokemon cards too. He said he has a binder lying around. So I'm going to contact him again for those because this gives me hope that they're actually Wizard of the Coast cards in that binder. We got a Squirtle. We got another Electrode, non-hollow. We got a Blastoise. Blastoise card right here from Base Set 2. It looks like it's in really nice condition. That is awesome to see. Blastoise at the bottom of the box. Wow. What else is in here? That's a Neo card. Oh, it's like a different language. Another different language card. Come on, give us another hollow. First edition Charmander. Team Rocket set. Is there another hollow? Nope. We got a lot of bulk and we got four hollow cards that were at the bottom of this box. We got an Electrode, we got a Blastoise, we got a Pidgeot, and we got a Kabutops. Okay, so that is everything that we got. I'm going to go upstairs and tally up everything to see how much we can expect to make from our initial $240 investment. Alright, so I just got home. I had to run out and buy some AC adapters so I could test every single console. I did not have the connection for the Xbox 360 Slim or the older Xbox One. They take a different adapter. I had to buy both of them, here they are. They were 30 bucks each. I'm just gonna keep these and use them to test consoles. Luckily, I tested everything and everything works. We got the PlayStation 2 with the Bratz disc. We got the Xbox 360. We got the Xbox 360 Slim. We had GTA 5 in there. The older Xbox One works, no disc in there. And then the Xbox One S, we had Mortal Kombat 11 in there. I had the switch on the charger, so let's see if this switch works. It's powering on. It looks goofy with only one Joy-Con. Let's see if we can get to the home screen. Let's see, I got Breath of the Wild inside. And it looks like it's working perfectly fine. So we have a Nintendo Switch with one Joy-Con and the charging dock and everything works. I even tested the sound and the volume buttons work and the sound works perfectly fine. So I was gonna test all three of these headphones because there is a little bit of money in these. Unfortunately, I do not have an aux cable so I cannot connect it to my phone, which doesn't even have a headphone jack anymore. I would have to use a dongle because I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max and they're not compatible. So unfortunately, I cannot 
test these at the moment, this one and this one, but these are wireless and these are the most money out of all three of these. So I have a micro USB connected and I'm gonna let them charge up and I'm gonna see if these ones work. Okay, so as you can see, the Beats Studio Wireless shows up on my Bluetooth, which is a good sign. I'm going to see if I can connect to it. They say it is connected. So let's see if I play music, it'll come through the speakers. All right, so I got Stevie Ray Vaughan on Spotify. Let's see if we can hear his jams through these headphones. They seem to work, that is amazing. They sound really good from here, so I'm gonna put them on and see if they sound good on my head too. So those headphones, they actually sound pretty good. I've never been a fan of Beats, but when I put them on my head, they actually weren't too bad. There was a lot of bass. They were really bass forward, but I usually use like Sennheiser or AKG headphones when I'm listening to music and those sound really good to me. Beats, I always thought were overpriced and they were like bass washed. So I never would buy them. I remember when they came out in high school, they were super expensive. All the kids had them though. I was using like Skull Candies and stuff because I never wanted to pay for overpriced headphones like Beats. I am glad that the wireless ones work because those are the most expensive out of the three that I got. And once I get an aux cord, I'm gonna test the other two and then I will probably list them if they work. If not, I will probably just sell them for parts. So it seems like we can make about $1,200 of estimated profit from this entire lot. That is the entire value of everything. I probably am not gonna sell any of it on Facebook Marketplace because I feel like if I post any of the consoles or games and stuff like that, people are just gonna probably lowball me or try to do a bundle deal and stuff like that. So I usually stick to eBay. So I need to take into consideration all of the fees and shipping that I'm going to endure, which is roughly 25%, give or take and that's gonna be $300 minus our initial investment, which was $240. That leaves us at a total estimated profit of $660. I think this stuff is gonna sell really quickly. I have a ton of Xbox 360 games and a ton of Xbox One games that I'm gonna bundle with each console. And I know the older consoles, like the Xbox 360s, they go for like 50 bucks on their own or like 40 even. So I'm going to be bundling a ton of games to get the whole value of the auction. I'm going to be putting these for auction and whatever price they go for on eBay is what they're gonna sell at. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to be seeing you in the next one.